Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're back with the next part of Bloodlust. If you haven't seen the last one, go check it out because yes, imaginary drumroll please, we became a vampire. Our character is finally a vampire. A vampire queen, a vampire legend, whatever you want to call her, that is what she is these days and we're going to find out what happens with her new little lifestyle choices. So give it a big thumbs up if you enjoy it, subscribe if you haven't already, and without further ado, let's start the vampire drama. Mason lied. The pain was unbearable. Just the fact that was the opening sentence, Mason lied. Like my blood was gasoline and his bite lit the match. Then everything was black. Oh, are we okay? Um, okay, so we got little marks on our neck. <gasps> her eyes are red. Oh, we cheering. Victoria, can you hear me? Did I make it? Did I survive? She's a vampire, yeah. Now you'll never die, Victoria. I mean, I really wouldn't say that. We've seen some deaths of vampires in the story before, but it worked. Oh, Mason, you're shaking. You were scared you killed me. Never mind that now. How do you feel? I feel, I feel. That's what it is. She smells like cinnamon rolls and she's as sweet as... Oh my god, Mr. Bear, stop thinking, stop thinking about my mom right now. Sorry? I can hear your thoughts. I've read about how wide the doors of perception can open when you're first turned, especially in one so naturally powerful. So what was he thinking, honey? I err uh, about how sweet you smell I was dreaming of. I'm gonna have to stop you right there. Police find each other later and share all the thoughts you want, privately. Oh, old love. Wait, wait, wait. Did you just read our history teacher's mind? I think I found my new study buddy. Does this mean you can read our minds now too? Ooh, she got the powers. No, I don't hear anything from either of you. But I have to say, I don't hate being in the dark on that. It's the ancestral connection. The new immortal body wants to hold on to something from when it was alive. So it connects with those who share its blood. And I can hear all their thoughts. Time will tell if this sensitivity lasts. But that's not what's important right now. When the solar eclipse occurs tomorrow, we need to be ready. The future depends upon it. When the eclipse excites all the freshly turned young vampire's blood, it will be absolute chaos to lose control and mess. Okay, so there's going to be a bloodbath, literally. Attack the human citizens of Cape Thorn. And the war between the living and undead will finally erupt. The town will be destroyed. In that case, <laughs> let's stay here. Let's go back or we need a good plan. If we're going to be there, we need to plan a good one. Does that mean what I think it means? Training montage. What? Feats of strength and skill. Hints of romance. Getting the whole squad together to save the day. They really went hard on this. What is this matching outfit? This is embarrassing. But let's just do it. This is so embarrassing. Let's do dub squad. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> I knew it was going to be cute, but this is beyond like a kitten on the back of a puppy. I would not, th that's not the description I would throw out there. Or like a baby telling a dad joke. Wait, is that cute? Whatever it is, we look good. Oh, someone lied to you many times. First, you'll need to get your strength up. I'm guessing we're not talking about a protein shake, but you know what? We need to train and get ready because this is about to be a battle. So this is about to be like freaking the twilight battle or whatnot. It's time for your first feeding. Oh, are we going to go hunting in the woods like the twins did? We don't have time for that. You'll need to master the art of drinking from someone without killing them or turning them. Oh, wow. So quickly. But who will I? You can drink from me, Victoria. Can we just hand you back, Eve? I trust you. His blood will be safe for you now. Yours is so much more powerful that his antibodies won't even register. I was about to say, or you can try me. I'm chock full of blood. You couldn't drain me if you tried. You both do that for me? Of course, that's what friends are for. What's mine is yours. Okay, I'm gonna drink from Heath because we're gonna get our man over here. Drink from you, Heath. Mason, you okay? I'm fine, I'm just... He's nervous. For you? No, for you, there's no going back. This is the first moment of your new life. Are you ready? Oh, we've been ready, I have to be. Like, we've been ready. I don't think I can watch. You literally turned us. Okay. You ready? Yes. Oh, she let grab out. She went straight in there. Drink. <laughs> I thought his blood would taste awful. I keep drinking. 
suck that blood right out of him. Ooh, everyone's like, <laughs> oopsies. Just keep drinking, sis. Go for it. But instead, you kept drinking. Is he a vampire again? Uh, Victoria, let go, Victoria. You have to let go. It tasted like life. Oh, sis, drain him more. Oh my god, that was amazing. Try not to have too much fun. Oh, we didn't turn him back. <gasps> ah, she's going in. Enough to I'm sorry. I don't, how do you feel? This is too funny. Ready to get my training montage on? Oh, y'all, I have to calm down real quick. Okay. Whew. Okay. That was a lot to take. And she went in. She took a bite. Sis was hungry. Before we take on the whole town, we need to take you through some practice. Okay, to make sure you're in control. Bring it on. Vampire Victoria is savage. I love it. She was definitely savage with Heath. First, let's try vamp speed. See if you can catch me. You better stop him. He's headed straight for downtown Cape Thorn. When did this become PE class? Oh, she's zooming. Look at her. Vroom, vroom. G throw down with him. Uh-uh. Okay, you won that round. You tired yet? Not a bit. Let's go again. <laughs> you guys never missed leg day, huh? It's so cute that we're all three little vampires over here. Next challenger, opposite limbo. Oh, next challenge, opposite limbo, whatever. Say things I understand. It's not how long you, how low can you go, but how high. Ooh, we can jump. Oh my gosh, look at everyone jumping. This is lit. Look at this. How fun is this? Wow, Victoria. Impressed more than with Vamp Victoria on our set. I think we actually might stand a chance tomorrow. Oh, it's snowing too. Okay, so this is a big battle. At the end of a long day of training. You got this, Wilder. It's been a minute since you could actually die, but you got this. Remember, you're doing it for your friends, your family, and for Victoria. Me? <laughs> Surprise. How long have you been standing there? Long enough to know how brave you are. And no more brave than anyone else fighting on our side. How did the rest of your training go today? I've learned a lot. Um, I think we've got a shot here. Maybe we're outnumbered by a mile, but Mason Strong, Sophie too, and Victoria, you're you. Don't forget yourself. Just because you're mortal doesn't mean you weren't powerful. I guess we'll find out. So where's everyone else? They all went to their rooms. Last night before the big battle, you know. Trying to get some sleep in it as if that's possible, right? Um, um well, <laughs> good night, Heath. Oh, why don't you just leave him? Oh, good evening, Victoria. I would just are wishing your mother good night. He was get Mama was getting the D in there, is what she was getting. Mm-hmm. Just be careful with my mom's heart. She's been through a lot. You have my word. Oh, Mr. Bear. I, um, I have something of yours. Oh, that ring! Sorry for stealing your bloodstone. But in our defense, we thought you were, you know, evil. You have nothing to apologize, but please, you keep it. It would mean the world to me if I could help keep you and your mother safe. Good night, Victoria. Oh, our new stepdad. Did you forget something, hun? Oh, sweetie, it's you! Were you about to call Mr. Bear, honey? I, I guess I was. Come sit with me for a minute, sweetie. I didn't think it was possible after your father died, but I really feel something for Ted. Ted? Mr. Bear, he has a first name, you know. I'm happy for you. You deserve love. And I know things change. Seriously. I saw my daughter become a full-fanged vampire today. But I'm still me, you know that, right? It's, it's comforting in a way. To picture you living on after I'm gone, surrounded by vampires who love you... It's nice to think about it that way. Cape Thorn has brought so much into our lives. I never thought I'd say this about two teenagers who are head over heels for my daughter, but I'm glad you have the Wilders in your life. They'd do anything for you, just like your old mom. Oh, our mom is so sweet. Good night, mom. See you in the morning. Why is she shook? I can't believe she heard me talking to myself. She probably thinks I'm nuts. You are nuts, but that's probably part of what she likes about you. You're the wild card. I'm the looks and the brain ones. <laughs> You're lucky getting to spend an eternity with her. Any time with her is a gift. Dude, cringe. 
Please, I know you feel the same way. I'm just saying I come with a cooler way of saying it. Like how? You think I'm going to tell you so you can run off and use my lines on Victoria? Write your own poetry, bro? Fair. Big good night, Heath. Good night, Mace. And if I don't get the chance to say it tomorrow, I love you. Tell me after the battle. I know, I just... In case I don't get the chance. In case I... Oh, that he dies. I know. I love you too, Heath. Oh. Okay, it's finally hitting me. We might not all make it tomorrow. Okay, um, let's... Let's go spend time with Heath because we don't know if he's gonna make it. So, couldn't sleep. She went in and was like, whoosh. I don't know what you're afraid of. You're gonna live forever. You don't know what I'm afraid of. Losing you. Oh, I, Heath, I wanna be with... <gasps> I want to be with you. I want to be with you while we still have the chance. Simple as that. Thank you. Thank you from the guy who I know writes secret angsty poetry. I don't have the words to tell you how I feel for you, but I want you to feel it. Oh my gosh, it's going to like go inside of us. And Heath opened his heart to me. Oh, okay. This is some like vampire power stuff. I've never felt emotions so raw, so powerful, so all consuming. I wondered how they could even fit inside him. <laughs> You understand? I do. Sometimes when I was a vampire, I dream about all the things I'd be able to do with my extra time. Travel the world, watch it change. Then you changed instead. I want you to take this, so you know I'm with you even when I'm not beside you. What is this? It's beautiful. Oh, it's so cute, but why three hearts? Why not just two? Well, as much as I'm glad my brother isn't here right now, I think the three of us will always be connected, you know. Can I please pick both of them? Oh, I love that thing, Heath. You know, there's one more thing you could give me tonight. The Z, what's that? And, um, oh wait, well, hold me until the sun. Okay, I'm just gonna pick hold me until the sun comes up, you guys, because I can't show the other one because it'll get freaking age restricted. So just hold me and watch the sun come up together. Your wish is my command. And this way you guys can see the little moment. If I did the other one, I'd have to cut it out anyway. Oh, look at them little cuddling. Oh, 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 I see more than holding happened, y'all. <laughs> okay, the next morning, okay, after they had a little fun in there, just a couple hours to finalize our plan before we head back. Um, what? Everybody get down here. Victoria, I'm so sorry. There were too many of them. What? What happened? It's your mother. Chief Abbott came in the night and took her. What is he said? Don't only let her go if... If what? If you bring him the twins. Oh, no. Oh, my. This ends now. Hope everyone's ready because we're going back to Cape Thorn. Us versus the whole town. I wish we had some more numbers on our side now that we're going without a plan. Victoria. Help, Victoria. Help us. Oh my gosh. Oh yes, beat them down. Will you let Chief Abbott get away with this? Free the townies the amount of gems they want. We can't leave Roxy to fend for herself. Aya, come with me. Okay, so you'll create a diversion, then I'll sneak in. Once I'm in the Hall of Mirrors, they won't be able to see me. A distraction, huh? How's this? Hey, hey, I'm a vampire too, totally fresh. Totally confused and weak. Oh, Come hunt me or whatever. Oh my gosh, she actually really did that with them. Have a weapon. That works. Okay, so now we gotta go save Roxy and them. Ooh, I don't trust me in this fun house. <laughs> I thought I heard something in here. We vanished. You see anyone? No, man. This place gives me the creeps. Let's just go back to our post. Chief Abbott can't be mad if we do what he told us to, right? I'm sure hope not. That guy freaks me out. He is a freak is what he is. They call us freaks like the vampires freaks. Uh-uh, he is. Ooh, that's pretty though. Oh my, Victoria, you came. Of course I did. Okay, so let's get you out of here. Okay, so we have the townies to help us out now. So there's a back way out. Just get us free and we'll show you. The town's running up all the young vampires and dusting us one by one. You saved us, Victoria. Don't thank me yet because I need to ask you all a huge favor. It's for the future of Cape Thorn. Okay, so do we have them? How do we know we'll be here? He said to meet him in the cemetery and... And, and he'd write the course of history. Delusions of grandeur much. I don't care how grand his delusions are. They end today. Wait, what's that? Honey, don't. It's a trap. Of course it's a trap. Better hurry, Wilders. The stake is getting heavy. What? The stake is getting heavy. Ooh, attack, girl. 
Oh, yes, I knew you'd come. You played right into my hands. People usually do what you demand when they're threatening someone they love. I think my offer is more than fair. One wilder for one in glass. We're not trading anyone. We're taking my mom and we're leaving. This is over. Over? Oh, no, 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 no. Apparently, I've been doing your homework, Miss Glass. The only way this ends is for brother to kill brother. What? Sylvia's prophecy. Ding, ding, ding. What do we have for four, Jean? You've completely lost it. You're right, I have lost it. Thanks to the founding families, thanks to the brothers, I've lost everything. You did that to yourself, okay? And today I get it all back. You aren't getting anything back, dude. The eclipse is making the vampires frisky, and so am I. Ooh. <laughs> I don't want to imagine that. Ew. Okay, so can we, like, become super powerful now? Ooh, power up. I have no choice but to give unto destiny, and neither do you. What? He's right. What are you saying? Destiny brought us here. How much longer can we fight it? Oh, stop. No, I won't do it. Admit it, Mace. He has a point. It always comes back to this. You and me at each other. So this is so extra. That's what brothers do. They fight. They make up. They don't kill each other. Okay, honestly, he th he's level of attraction. Uh, I just, he's so extra. How long can we run from this? You are so pathetic. Don't you feel it? Deep down, it's always been our fate. No, I'm not going to fight you. I'm not going to hurt you. You don't have a choice. That's what I'm talking about, really. What? He the soap. I can't with him. He's distracted. This is our chance. Get him. Bam. Yes, Roxy, you queen. Mrs. Glass, run. Yes. Oh, and these stupid boys. It's okay, you two. We got her. You can stop now. Don't you get it, Victoria? This isn't about any of us. He he's right. Sylvia's- Y'all are so stupid. Everything she ever warned us about has to come true. One of us has to go, or this all just keeps happening. Will you choose for us? It's the only way. If you love Heath, I'll go. So I can leave you a lifetime of happiness with someone who will love you as long as he lives. And if you choose Mason, I'll go. He'll love you for eternity and then some. You two are the lords of bad timing. Is this what you call a romantic climax? If you won't tell us what's truly in your heart, there's one way of knowing for sure. I love both of y'all, so, like... I, I don't love... I want both... I love both of them. Why is this so choicey? Like, why can't I just have both? I paid enough money for this game. I love... Heath is so tired, though. But we put so much points into him. I, Heath, I love Heath. I love sure. Freaking. Are you sure you won't put the change your answer at this moment? I don't want either of them to be quite honest. I love I want both of them. Why can't I have both of them episode? How kind of what kind of extra? Um this is so much, y'all, but then we can't spend eternity with him. I want Mason to be quite honest. Mason. I love Mason. <laughs> Enough so oh we don't we don't get a rechoose? Enough stalling I demand fractures to destroy all monsters. You're the only monster here. Wait, the rest of us. Wait, do we buy time by not picking one? We're a family. We choose love. Beside because love is what holds us together when people like you try to tear the world apart. Wait, do we somehow fix the situation? She's right. I can't fight destiny, but I can leave you all with love. No! Take care of her. I I don't think I can do it. You can. It's time. This is so stupid. Turn it around and hit the chief. I love you, Heath. I love you too, Mace. Always have. Leap between them. Leap between them. You know what, though? We are bringing drama to this story. Leap between them. Boom. Meet your destiny in chapter 15, The Sacrifice. Okay. So that is the end of the chapter, and we jumped in front of it because, you know what, here's the thing. She's immortal, so I'm pretty sure only the state can get her, but, you know, they shot her, so now they have it on their hands, and we hopefully changed destiny and fate or whatever they're trying to believe. Like, they can change it, you know, they can have their destiny or whatnot, but you know what, sometimes you just gotta break that destiny, and this is the moment where they need to and stop being so extra. I want both of these brothers, and I want them both alive and undead, I suppose, but we can't have that if the other one is laying on the ground bleeding to death, so we're gonna solve that situation real quick and see what happens in the next one, so... The drama, the drama. We made this so dramatic, and honestly, I'm living. I'm I'm freaking living for it. Like, I can't wait to see what happens. So, hope you guys are excited. I know that was a hot mess, but you know what? We needed a mess. We needed a mess. To, to end a mess in this messy story, to be quite honest. But I hope you guys have enjoyment out of that. Thank you so much for watching, as always, and I can't wait to see the next one. Thank you so much again, everyone. Bye. I'm so, I'm so